One wedding is generally meeting with multiple different couples. So we'll call it five different meetings on average, and then one will book us. So there's five nights of the week we've already worked kind of starting that. And then it's months of kind of emailing back and forth, getting contracts, getting everything nailed down. So there's, you know, hours and hours right there. Um, and then once it's all settled and we're getting close, it's a couple days, two or three days at least of prepping gear, getting everything ready, going into the day, knowing what we're going to do on the wedding day itself generally 10 to 12 hours of work getting there getting set up shooting um and doing photo and video it just takes so much time so much effort kind of throughout the day doing that as well as like mental i, I used to say when we first started doing this i felt like i had run a marathon and taken the act at the same time when i got home from a wedding because that's just kind of what goes into it and then that's just to get the content then we have to get home back it up um if we have a next a wedding the next day we're up till like 4 a.m. backing everything up, copying, getting our gear flipped. Um, and if not, we still have to back it all up. And then average 30, 35, maybe 40 hours of work editing to get one video out. And that's just one wedding. So 40 of those in a year. Oh my goodness. It was rough. <laughs> so Dude, that is yeah. crazy. How did that develop? Like, obviously, yeah. if I were going to start a business and I wanted to take pictures for a wedding, you know, I'd be yeah. like, all right, y'all come out here. We're going to take pictures. I'll film yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so... Uh, there's kind of a couple layers to it. One is just actually attaining the ability to do the work. And that is that came from I had about six or seven years of video experience already before I got to that point. So I was already very comfortable with my gear, very confident in my in video production skills before I even started doing it. So if someone was just coming at it, not having any of any video experience, it's going to be a lot sharper like learning curve to, to actually understand how to use the gear and, and just knowing how to hold a camera and shoot is that's one thing. But on top of that, you have to know what you want your end product to be, how to get the couples to engage and look natural and feel comfortable with the whole process. Um, and, you know, that's just the media side of it. On the other side, it's um, it was a long process of learning the business side because most people who come into it, they know how to take, take, take pictures and they're artistic, they're creative, but the business side is a whole different half of the brain and it's just a very different process. So it was a, kind of a learning process of getting a contract, getting people, asking people to pay you money. It's a weird thing for, for a lot of people and it was for me too, starting out like, hey, you want me to shoot this? Uh, give me money. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you have to learn the language of that, of using like contracts and invoices and all that kind of thing. So. For us, it was, um, yeah, it was doing a couple weddings for friends, learning the process of, I should have had a contract for this. I should have told them to pay me this much. You know, this wasn't enough. I need to ask for more because of the work I'm putting in. Right. Um, and then over time, you, you learn all these things and it gets to the point where it becomes a system of um, putting your content out there, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is, having people inquire and find you. And when they do find you, having something there for them to click that they can get get a lead, you know, they can put their info in, get it to you, you respond, you can um, set up those conversations and those meetings, um, and then get get to the point of actually getting paid and, and doing the job. 